Hello everybody. I'm going to go over um, this external hard drive issue with Serato DJ and the control shift delete function not working. Um, as you can see, I'm running OS X 10.9.5. I have my external properties from my external hard drive open. I'm running it at Mac OS extended. I have the permissions set accordingly, read and write, and then I also have the checkbox ignore ownership on this volume. Let's go ahead and open up Serato DJ. All right, so Serato DJ is opened. All my crates have populated. Um, all my smart crates have been populating, which I found is uh, by far, if you really get the chance to organize your music, do it in smart crates. Um, it's, it makes everything so much simpler instead of having to like search through random crates and stuff. Um, so we have two crates here that I'm going to delete. Um, I have crate one. So it's going to be control. If I can reach it. It'll be control delete for that one. And I'll go down to the next one to categorize. I'm going to delete that one. Control delete. All right. So now let's go ahead and close Serato DJ. Now, for all intents and purposes, when I close Serato DJ and it saves it, it is hopefully going to remove those two crates. <clears throat> all right. So we close that. Now we're going to reopen it. Let it load up. And here we are. So after that, we have crate one and two organize. Both of those have came back. So we'll go ahead and do this. Um, so that's one issue. Um, we'll go into the setup here, go to my library. Um, I'm not, I don't have show iTunes library checked. And I don't have protect library checked. So another thing, let's go ahead and show the track removal. So I have a couple of versions here. Uh, selfie. Um, I have, because I do music videos, I have HD versions of them. So I don't need these versions. So let's go with this top one right here. So selfie, original, clean. We're going to go ahead and... Do control shift. Control shift. Delete. Now the control shift delete should automatically remove the file and send it to the trash or delete, uh, delete it completely. So as you can see down here, nothing in the trash. We'll double click it to open it. As you can see, there's nothing in the trash. So now we'll go down to the finder window here, open a finder window, we're going to go to my drive, and we'll go to the video, open it up, <clears throat> we're going to do a list of this, alright, so we're looking for selfie, original, alright, so, as we go through, Now I don't see it there. So what we'll do is, since I removed that file, we're gonna go to files, my external drive. And then what we'll do is we're gonna drag the video folder over and drop it on there. I'm gonna see if it populates back to the, my device. And as you can see right there at the top, it's repopulated again. So, not entirely sure um, if Serato has any um, any ideas about how we can get around this. Um, it's been suggested to go through and rename your database uh, folder, um, which I don't support that. Um, I'm 
being as I'm updating my music at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, uh, I take um, make use of the added column so that way I can see what's the most recent stuff and keep track of where I am for um, organizing my music and stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any any pointers, anything that you've seen to help correct this issue outside of deleting the database, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to share this on the on the Serato DJ forum and see if we can get this resolved. All right, thanks, guys.